Hey Taurus, thanks for checking into my channel. Welcome to your who is spying on you slash checking in on you reading. Uh, this can be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I really appreciate you popping over to the channel. I'll be using a couple of decks here because we need to find out who this person is. All right, we'll see if they're behind the scenes, if they're still in your life. Um, let's get into it and pull out six cards. you Taurus okay could be someone under the sign of a cancer straight away with the chariot card and seeing that three and four of swords okay this is someone you had a messy heartbreak with this is someone who's potentially heartbroken over you um, Taurus or you're heartbroken over them okay we've got the four three of Pentacles and the nine of chalices Okay, interesting message here, but I think straight away there's unresolved issues between you and this person. Okay, so it's someone who either was in a love triangle with you, maybe you had an affair with them, maybe they found out you were talking to multiple people. Vice versa, Taurus, you could have been the naughty one, you might have been talking to several people at the one time. Um, but this person is, is checking up on you, okay? They feel foolish though, they've got the fool next to them. So this isn't someone who... I, I still feel like they're a fool in love or there is a sense of them feeling humiliated about the situation here. I don't think you're in contact with this person anymore. I, I From what I'm seeing here, I would think that there's no communication because the Four of Swords has come up here. And, you know, this is a card of laying things to rest. And definitely Swords is, is mind and mentality and thought communication. And seeing that, it makes me think that you no longer have contact with this person, at least not physically, okay? Um, you might not be communicating with them. I don't think you are. The Chariot card says to me, you may still be connected with this person on social media. So I get the message here that you aren't talking, but you're still somehow connected. Um, either you see them through like social media, you see them update their details, you might even see them when you drive away to work, you know, the chariot is very noticeable, okay, he's, he's, he's known, he's very much seen under his canopy here, so straight away, I get the sense that you two either see each other frequently, but you don't talk, and that's the kind of person who is checking up on you. Um, the fool is an Aries, uh, so it can be a, um, and Aries as well, okay, who's who's doing this. It's someone who's not very good with love and took a lot of risks, okay. They, they're either very inexperienced when it comes to love or something like that. But this person with the nine, it still says to me with the nine of cups that they're still wishing for you, Taurus. This is wish fulfillment or putting out an intentional wish. Um... So it's, it's maybe like they're hoping that you're going to notice them, like they wish you're going to notice that they're checking up on you somehow. It's like maybe they on accident slash on purpose left behind a like or um, checked into your page or um, blocked or unblocked you. It's, it's something that they did. tried to do to get your attention like they tried to make it seem it seem it wasn't happening but it was like oh an accidental like or an accidental follow or but it was I feel like it was premeditated I don't think it was an accident is, is what I'm trying to say I think they've thought about that because the, the three of pentacles in in this Egyptian deck is about accolades it's about being seen uh because we have the god Horus okay he was um uh it was personified as a falcon. So um, it's like exposing things. It's, it's, you can see he's the, the openness of the wings. So it makes me think that they're spying on you in hopes. There's a wish here to open communication, okay? Birds are messengers. So they're trying to send you a very clear and loud message here, Taurus, that, hey, I'm trying to open up the lines of communication, especially because they have been closed with the Four of Swords. Okay, it's been closed down. There's possibly been blocking here, but they're still heartbroken. Three of Swords. It's almost like even if they are in a new relationship, which this person very much could be, 
they haven't healed from you. They're still thinking about you. They could even be jeopardizing. The fool literally walks along the banks of the Nile here and we see this, um, you know, we see the, the, the alligator, so, or oh, this crocodile, um, and, and he's literally going into danger. So, so, so he's not making the best decisions and judgments right now. So straight away, I get this person is coming up with a bit of a frazzled energy, okay? They may be disorientated. They may not know what they want, but... As I said, I don't think it's by accident that you may come across some of those things. I think it was designed that way. I think they thought about what to do here um, and they thought how it's going to garner your attention. And seeing that, I think just validates it, validates it all, um, if I'm honest. So, yeah, I think... I think you've, you, you, there's something about this, this person that's coming up with this energy here. Um, but like I said, the, you still see each other, that, that, that column in the middle, you still see each other, but you don't talk. Or it could be that they have been revisiting memories, like looking over photos of the two of you together, maybe something of this nature. But this is someone you had a relationship with. The chariot card is, is cancer. It's, it's attachment. Okay, so the two of you were attached for, for quite some time. Uh, we've got the number seven here. We also have four, three, three, and, and four and three make seven. So the number seven seems to be significant. Okay, maybe you dated seven months, seven weeks, 17, you were together 17 years. Um, you celebrate an anniversary on the 17th. You had your first date on the 17th. Um, or maybe around the period of July, it would appear that that time frame is significant for one reason or another. But I think, I think, like I said, they're trying to make themselves known to you. But maybe they want you to reach out, okay? Maybe they're trying to keep the lines of communication open, but there's there's wish fulfillment for, we've got the anchor symbol, okay? This is a symbol of life or a life force. So this person is hoping that there is life injected to your connection or life in your communication once more. Okay, there's a very strong intention going out into the universe energetically from this person. I'll leave it at that though, Taurus. Okay, so um, please like the video if you'd like to see more of this content. Um, of course, subscribe to the channel to get updates for when readings for your sign um, are published to the channel. Otherwise, um, I really appreciate all your support. Uh, it really does mean a lot. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, Taurus, please take care and we shall be connecting uh, tomorrow for your weekly Monday Tarot. So check back in then and bye for now.